today's video is hopefully going to clear up some confusion that we've had uh, to talk about some of the subscriber games and what we're also hoping to do is give you uh, a play out of the Kansas City uh, offensive playbook here that's going to help you along the way. Uh, so like I said, we're in the middle right now of our, I don't know what's going on with practice mode, <laughs> okay. So we're in the middle of our uh, Madden Ultimate Six, uh, Madden Ultimate Team free offensive ebook. And uh, basically what we're trying to do with this series is uh, kind of give you a sample uh, of what some of our ebook products look like so that you know, not just for this year, but also for next year. Uh, it's kind of a free sample of what we're going to be doing as we go through the playbook and kind of dissect it really and just show you some concepts and things that you can utilize. Um, but another thing I want, was hoping to do as a result of this series, and I've actually, ha I just have really just been running rampant and losing time like, you know, it's my job, is that um, I'm hoping to do subscriber games. Now, what subscriber games are going to allow us to do is basically they're going to allow me to play a game. We're going to play a game. So, for example, if, um, let's just, you know, use someone. So, say, so say uh, John Doe signs up. Uh, and you, it's pretty easy to sign up. You just comment and let me know that you're interested on our in our comment section. And and what I will do is I'm going to be leaving you a link to my gamer tag or my PlayStation Network ID or whatever. Unfortunately, you have to have a PlayStation 4 to do this. But uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is so John Doe will sign up, and then you know he and I will you know he'll add me on PlayStation, and I will send him a message to uh, give him my email address, and then we'll connect through email and basically set up a game and then we'll play a game and what we're going to hopefully do with this is as we're playing the game I'm going to record it on the commentary and uh, and kind of talk to you guys about some things that I'm seeing within uh, some player within guys games and that will be for example that video could go live on say Tuesday and then on Wednesday there's going to be another video that's going to come out where I'm going to kind of make some personal suggestions kind of basically reflecting upon the game we just played uh, now, I really think that this series has a lot of power in it. It's very hard to do. Uh, so, guys, please forgive me uh, You know, if we don't get it done every single week. Uh, but I do want to at least try to. And, uh, and hopefully, uh, hopefully what we'll end up being able to do is stockpile games up uh, so that we'll have plenty of them on our, on our uh, library. All right, so that's uh, a little bit about that. So if you guys are interested in that, leave a comment, and I'll try to get back with you. Like I said, I know it's been... Uh, kind of a you know kind of been sporadic lately on my uploads uh, you know I'm looking at the channel right now and uh, for the last month really it's been kind of hard to get on a consistent schedule so please forgive me for that uh, but otherwise guys I do want to talk a little bit about um, this X Factor formation so uh, the X Factor formation we already discussed was the pistol ace but I wanted to at least give you some insight into the uh, the gun bunch quads because it is a very unique formation and, uh, and, and really what we're going to be doing with this is, is just kind of very simple zone flooding and we're going to use some basic concepts to be man that's pretty much all there is to this formation but the cool part about it is it's basically it's weight uh, how it has four wide receivers on one side of the field and what this is going to do is and, and we're just going to go up against some two man under basic two man under from quarter uh, and what I want to show you is just how the align is really just the alignment of this, and then I'm going to show you an actual man beater that you can utilize out of any uh, out of any play. So your quick audibles here, you have spacing. The really powerful quick audible though is the quarterback draw. When 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 uh, you come out in five wide, a lot of people will start dropping into quarters coverage defense. This quarterback draw, if you have a mobile quarterback, actually if you're patient, uh, and what you, here's how you kind of be patient. Basically, you don't want to hold turbo until you're through. Uh, the line of scrimmage. So through your pass the blocker. So here we're just kind of guiding our blockers and Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to pick up some, some yardage. And as you can see, um, you know, it really does a pretty decent job uh, of picking up some yardage. So I wanted to definitely at least talk about this as a viable option. If people are running quarters or prevent defenses and they're just dropping people back, you know, this is a very, very good little way to kind of, you know, pick and choose your spots. It's probably one of the best, you know, draws in the entire game. The next thing uh, that you have is, of course, understanding your quick audibles. But uh, the cool part about this play, bunch trail, is that you have a corner route and a post route. And really, all you're left to come up with is a flat route. So, you know, we like to put Rodgers here on a flat. And then we'll do some, we love these motion drags. So, 
basically bringing Cobb in and motion snapping him to get him off the press is going to allow you to have a really, really good, easy man beater uh, over the middle of the field. So as you can see, this play becomes you know, really pretty dynamic. And actually, what we can do with this is we could put Rodgers on a zig route, and we're going to have a zig, a drag, and a corner, and a post on that right side of the field. Now, this is a really deadly route combination, and I love, love, love this uh, play, especially when we're talking about beating man-to-man. -man. Now, sometimes, unfortunately, with the bunch quads, quarters man under does a decent job. There's several things that you can do to kind of combat it. Number one is throw hitch routes in the slot. That's probably the most you know sound way to combat man-to-man -man coverage. The other thing that I really find uh, a lot of success with is taking Randall Cobb, or basically the slot receiver, having a really good route runner there, and basically using motion snaps. As you can see here, motion drags uh, to really help him. Another thing, uh, real quick, we're talking about the subject of man beaters from the bunch of quads is taking Randall Cobb, or, or really just the slot receiver here, and put him on an out route. I find that motioned out routes are very effective this season for getting separation, uh, and so again, especially against two men under. So here we're gonna put him on out route motion, and when he cuts to the outside, he's gonna have a nice, a nice catch uh, animation there. Now, the beauty of this is he's also going to serve as a flat route in case uh, they're in zone coverage. So the whole flow of the play really works the same way. You're just using a couple of different routes here and there. But as you can see, that out route really does a pretty good job at pretty much consistent uh, you know, separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Obviously, you'll have some cool routes from time to time, uh, some decent crossing routes. But moreover, guys, really, you know, they don't do a really good job this season of beating man-to-man. -man. And so you're going to need to utilize those motion out routes, those drags, those crossing patterns, all of those quick reads. And uh, that really becomes your foundation for beating man-to-man. -man. Route running and then motion snaps, in my opinion, are the best ways that you can do it. Now, what you just saw there is, is the last kind of point I want to touch on, and that is to use, uh, that is to use uh, zig routes and basically throw them as slant ends. And so what's going to happen here is we're going to motion Reno Cobb to the right, and he's going to run up, and then he's going to slant in. As soon as he slants in, that's when we're going to throw the ball. So he slants in. Oh, well, sorry, that wasn't a good example. Normally we get a little better uh, a little better example right there. We just got shamed on the first play. Let's show you this. So Randall Cobb motioned out, come in, and when he cuts in like that, that hard cut, that's what you're looking for. It's it's a timing thing. It really is. Uh, you're going to have to practice this several times before you should feel confident running it in an online head-to-head -head match. But as you can see here, when he cuts inside like this, that's what we're looking at. That's, ex that's the separation that we want. So I want to kind of reaffirm that this is something that you can utilize and the cool part about it is these routes complement each other very very well the motion to out route is a fundamental way to beat man-to-man -man coverage this year not very many people are talking about it and i don't really know why uh, we're talking a lot about divide wheel and drive out and things like that but the basic concept is out breaking patterns motion to the outside and what it basically revolves around is you're getting outside position that's really the core of why the motion out routes work so well the reason the motion in routes do not work quite as well is because you don't really have inside position. Uh, two man under in and of itself is designed to basically give the defense inside position. And that's why, as you can see here, this drag route does not get quite as much separation as, uh, as, you know, as maybe an out route would. You can do the same, and one final thing, and then we'll get out of here for today. You can actually do the same, uh, the same basic principle with Randall Cobb, so we're going to put him on a zig, but we're going to motion him to the left, and what you're going to see is it's now going to change his zig, and he's going to flip it, but it's the same concept right as soon as he cuts in. Now, again, you've got to make sure that you time it correctly. As you can see, there's been a couple of instances on today's video even where I have not done a good job of my timing because, you know, I haven't practiced it a ton. I just know that it works, and I'm trying to share the information with you guys. Same thing with these motion out routes. You can do that as well. So, again, I just want to kind of be intentional about sharing with you guys some of the key ways to beat man-to-man -man coverage this season. A lot of it has to do with motion snapping, uh, you know, and a lot of it has to do with outbreaking patterns. So, for example, you can motion that inside post out route, and as you can see, you're gonna get some separation. So, really the boil, you know, it all boils down to three things. It boils down to pick some natural picks and rubs, um, and then motion snaps, getting them off the bump, off the jam, and then lastly, having good, sound, quality, route running receivers. Uh, that you can purchase on Mutt Head, you know, you can get on Mutt 16. We talk on, you know, we talk all the time about top five budget receivers, and we really revolve the essence of a good receiver in Band 16. 
around the rating route running so be sure to implement that in your game and lastly guys I just want to ask you if you're new to the channel uh, I just want to welcome you to our community and if you look forward uh, you know if you're looking to maybe join a community and grow with us together you can subscribe to our channel for free and uh, we'll be giving you free Madden 16 tips and of course when Madden 17 comes out we will try to have uh, as much content to help you in that game as well I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch today's video and lastly guys be sure to engage with me in the comments I look forward to hearing from you and I'm sorry that I have not been as intentional uh, as I should be and I'm going to try to get back into it so